okay students let us go to the next problem in the next problem uh, we are going to see what is mean by steady state pure probability we have seen uh, first one then conditional probability third one sequence then uh, there is a probability people tell to find steady state if you came across this word steady state or stationary or invariant or limiting case probability all are going to be same okay so whenever you come to you are going to use this relation phi capital p is equal to phi this is like your m1 you read for the matrix ax is equal to lambda x the relation between the matrix and eigen values right similar kind of things this okay so if it is steady state you are going to use this relation phi p is equal to phi suppose you see you have three states phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 you are going to equate like this with your transition matrix and you will get three equations now the problem is if all the three equations are same for example students tell me what is the solution for this this is two equations so the problem is it has no solution right you cannot find solution because what happen this two equations are what they are same now uh, for steady state they are getting the help from total probability what is total probability do you remember students one so now phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 equal to 1 this is always going to be my equation one they will fix this and now from this relation steady state equation i will get some equation okay so now using this to they will find the steady state of the problem okay this is what we are going to see in the next for this i will go directly to a application problem so that it will be interesting for you to evaluate so let me start with 2 cross 2 then we will go for 3 uh, cross 3 the questions will be like half a page very big big stories but problem is very simple let us see this so in this problem they don't give anything to us either initial condition or pro transition probability matrix directly they are going to give in words we are going to found this a man either drives a car or catches the train that means some person is going to train to his office so either he drive the car or he will take the catches the train to the office each day okay now they will tell the story from the story we have to find the initial condition as well as the matrix he never goes two days in a row by train okay so if we go by train in day 1 day 2 you will never go by train that is the thing but if he drives if he drives one day then the next day he is just likely as to drive again as he has to, to travel by train okay you see this is the data for my matrix transition probability matrix so the man either drives a car or catches the train okay so the man either drives a car or catches the train but in two consecutive days he will never go by train but if he is driving the car the next day he is just likely to drive again or to go by train that means if he drive today the next day he may either go in car or he will catch the train so what is the probability of next day catching a train or uh driving a car how many percentage is the probability only you have two options right so what is the probability students 1 by 2 50 50 right 50 percentage very good 1 by 2. now that's it so here in the problem i have only two data one is train another one is car so my matrix is going to be 2 cross 2 now. okay up to this level uh, let us do one by one so now let us fix this let us fix the problem so here my states are either the guy is going by car or train students it is very important if you fix the state of ct throughout the problem you have to do ct you should not change the states in the forthcoming steps suppose i am fixing car car should be first always if you can fix train also it's up to you okay so now p is here 2 cross 2 matrix we will write the data p is the 2 cross 2 matrix now let us design p now you are going to tell students p so i am fixing car train car train this is present this is my future okay now tell me students let us start with train if i go by train today the next day you will not what this guy will not travel in train two consecutive days am i right that means if this guy today he is traveling in train then what happen tomorrow tomorrow he cannot travel in train 
So the next day, future he cannot travel in train. The probability of traveling in train in the second day is zero, and probability of traveling first day is one. Okay, hundred percent. If you go day one in train, the second day future is present. Today, if you go in train, tomorrow you cannot go in train. So the probability distribution the distribution is one and zero because the sum of the probability is always one. This is the distribution for this. Road. Now go to this thing. If he drives the car in day one, then day two, what is the probability? He can either take train or car so in the present suppose he is traveling by car the next day probability of taking car and probability of taking train is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 am i right so this is my transition probability matrix so you, from the question you have to form the matrix like this so one part is done now we will fill the question so first part will be for the matrix then the next part will be for the initial condition see um, what is doing now suppose they are giving the initial condition now suppose on the first day so here they mention first day there is no zeroth day so instead of taking p of 0 we can take p of 1 because zeroth day there is no meaning you cannot drive at zeroth day so the initial condition in this problem we are giving uh, some exceptions okay we are taking the initial condition as p1 because it begins at day 1 okay so it's like p0 for our assumption we are taking as p1 students okay day 1 so now suppose on the first day of the week first day of the week see the man <laughs> he is a crazy man the man toss the die or throw a die there is no toss the die the man throw a die a man throw a die and he drives the car he drives the car if he if he get 6 in the die if he get 6 in the die then that day in the day one he will drive the car if he don't get 6 then he will catch the train okay so this is the condition he is imposing now we will come for question so they are asking find the probability find the probability that at day 3 he will take train this is the question okay what is the probability that the day 3 the guy will take the train and next question find the find the probability he drives the car in long run okay if you see the word long run all this thing this is steady state probability okay so now let us go one by one now we have fixed the p now let us go for the initial condition so what is the initial condition student this guy is throwing a die okay initial condition because the day is beginning with day 1 i am taking p1 so don't get confused this problem is special one i am taking p1 so now tell me students in day 1 the guy is throwing a die if we get and also we have fixed already first state is always car second state is train because we already fixed the states now tell me students uh, what is the initial condition what is the probability of getting 6 when you throw a die 1 by 6, 6. so not getting 6 is 5 by 6 this is my initial condition students done so now keeping this data i am going to find probability that day 3 that guy will take train probability on day 3 he will take train so this is not conditional probability okay so probability day 3 day 3 means step 3 the guy is going to take train that means this is pure probability so we use small p and my step is 3 state is capital so now i know p1 okay so my job is to find p3 so we know the formula pn is equal to pn minus 1 into capital p so let us find p2 p2 is equal to p1 into capital p so 1 by 6 5 by 6 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 0 so when you multiply 1 by 12 5 by 6 so when you add this you will get 11 by 12 when you multiply 1 by 6 into 1 by 2 1 by 12 this is 0 so 1 by 12 so this is nothing but my small p2 but i need p3 here so p3 p3 is going to be p2 into capital p okay very important this capital p so 11 by 12 1 by 12 again the same matrix okay 
So when you multiply 11 by 24, 1 by 12, 11 by 24, 1 by 12. So when you take LCM, 13 by 24. Here, 11 by 24, other term is 0. So this is done. Now see the question, probability of x3 equal to t. That means probability at step 3 at state t. So we know that first state is car, second state is trial. So probability of getting day 3, the guy is going to travel by train is 11 by 24. That's it, students. Can you able to follow? Okay. So now let us finish the second one. Long run, as I said. Long run, we should be, whenever we say long run or steady state, limiting case of probability, all these things, first write sigma pi i is equal to 1. So here, according to the problem, i is equal to 1 and 2. So pi 1 plus pi 2, this is a notation, okay? Pi 1, pi 2 is equal to 1. Pi 1 and pi 2 is equal to 1. So this is a steady state process. Steady state process. At steady state process, we know that pi capital P is equal to pi. So here I have, for pi, I have two states. Pi car, pi train. Okay, you can take this as car and train to avoid confusions. Okay, so directly, in general, in the problems, people will take pi 1, pi 2. But for this problem, let us take this as car and train, so you will not get confused. Or if you want, you can put pi 1 also, pi 2 you can have to mention. So I am doing, I am just mentioning this as pi car plus pi t equal to 1. Let us take this as equation 1. So pi car and pi t. So my probability matrix is 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1, 0, pi c, pi t. Half, okay, let us keep like this, half pi c plus pi t is equal to 5. Here, just take it as R. Okay. So now, uh, if I take everything on the one side, pi t minus, so minus 1 plus 1 by 2, it is minus 1 by 2, pi c equal to 0. Here also, similarly, pi t minus pi c by 2 equal to 0. You see, I get both the equations are the same. So I cannot solve. So now, always keep this equation 1, this guy. Use this equation 1. Substitute in equation 1 or solve equation 1. So now take this equation 1, pi c plus pi t equal to 1. Okay. So what can I do? I can substitute this pi t is equal to half pi c. So pi c from this equation, half pi c by 2 is equal to 1. That means 3 by 2 pi c equal to 1. So pi c is equal to 2 by 3. Okay. Then obviously pi t is equal to 1 by 3. So this pi is your steady state, okay? T refers the train and C refers the car. Now we can conclude the problem. Probability the guy drives the car, okay, the car in long run. So long run, the probability of driving car is 2 by 3. Then probability the guy catches the train in long run is 1 by 3. That's it, student. So if you get steady state, only we have to use this equation, okay? This equation extra, that pi p is equal to pi. So if this is solvable, then no issues. If it is equal, then try to get the help of the basic definition of probability. Sum of probabilities is one, substitute, and you will get pi c and pi p. That's it, students. So we have covered two topics, like solving normal problems, finding pure probability, conditional probability, sequence of probabilities. Then now this problem we have uh, able to find steady state.